Hi, good morning everybody. Um, it's okay, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about diabetes today. Um, I'm going to do a couple of uh, lessons and I want to start putting this out a little bit more just to educate us, that's all. Um, no one is, is trying to change things that you've been doing forever, but sometimes we do need to change things. Education is key. As long as you know, you do as you do, but I told you. You know what I'm saying? So diabetes is something where there are two different types, okay? You got type 1 diabetes, and then you have diabetes mellitus type 2. If you have type 1 diabetes, that means that uh, your pancreas is not creating uh, insulin. The reason why this is a problem is because the way food is broken down in your body, um, as you're chewing and you're digesting your food, um, you turn some of that into fuel for the body so that you have energy. Uh, the fuel that is called is glucose. Okay? The thing about this, and this is how wonderful the body is made, glucose travels through. When you're eating, your food turns into energy. It's now glucose. It's got to go and get into the cells, the cells in your body now so that you have energy. Now, glucose can't just go inside a cell. It can't permeate that. The only way it can go inside the cell is with the key, and the key is insulin. Insulin unlocks those cells so that glucose can now enter those cells and flow through the body, and you have proper amounts of sugar, and you have proper amounts of energy. So in type 1, the pancreas is not producing insulin, so now you are insulin dependent in order for you to be able to get glucose to get energy so a lot of times if you have type 1 diabetes you're tired fatigued things like that because you're not getting the energy that your body needs type 2 diabetes is a different uh, is a different beast uh, in type 2 diabetes your pancreas is working fine and, it, and it's producing insulin the issue is with is your cells uh, are not understanding or, or not letting this insulin come in um, it's called being insulin resistant there's another problem going on where the insulin isn't getting into the cell. Um, when you're insulin resistant, your pancreas doesn't know any different, so it continues to make more and more and more and more insulin. Um, it makes insulin until the insulin resistance is too strong and it can't and it can't even overpower it. It can't make enough insulin. So now what you basically have is is sugar or glucose just floating around. It didn't make it into the cells where it was supposed to go. So now you probably will have high blood sugar, okay? Which means that you will need uh, probably to take insulin either to lower it, and you could have low blood sugar, which would mean, you know, you have to do certain things to bring your sugar up. The most important thing that I want you guys to know about diabetes on this day one of diabetes is basically your emergency plan okay if you know that you already have type 1 or type 2 diabetes then I want you to know when you need to call your nurse or your doctor okay if you have blood sugar readings that are outside of your normal range call your nurse okay if you start having repeated blood sugars that are uh, less than 60 less than 60 milligrams then you need to call your doctor and that's repeated that means every day you've been noticing Okay, it's not getting above 60. It's time to call your doctor or your nurse, okay? If you start feeling increased fatigue or weakness, and I don't mean, oh, if you're just tired today, but you notice a difference. You notice, okay, more and more I'm getting tired, or more and more I'm feeling weaker. Those are things to call the doctor about. If you have uncontrolled vomiting or diarrhea, um, changes in your skin, blisters, um, if you have a weight gain of two to three pounds in one day or three to five pounds in one week, that's that's not food, okay? That's what you need to call your nurse or your doctor about. Two to three pounds in one day or three to five pounds in one week, let your physician or your nurse know. If you feel dizziness and lightheadedness when you rise, first of all, rise slowly, but you also need to let that nurse or that doctor know. Um, if you're urinating a lot, um, if you're thirsty or hungry more than usual, if you have sta states of confusion, if you're sweaty, shaky, if you have an irregular heartbeat, you know, or maybe you have decreased urine input, 
if you have any cold symptoms or you feel changes in your heartbeat. Um, those are reasons why you call your nurse or your doctor. Now, we're going to go to the level where you're going to skip the nurse and the doctor if you feel any of these. And you're going to call 911 or go immediately to the hospital. And that's if you have severe shortness of breath and gasping for air. You're having trouble breathing. Okay? If you're fainting in and out. If you have a sudden or severe chest pain or pressure on your chest. Um, blood sugars that are less than 60 or greater than 400. And then... And it doesn't respond to treatment. So your your blood sugar is less than 60 or greater than 400. You've already called the doctor or nurse, I'm, I'm sure. And they've told you what to do. You've treated yourself, but you check it and it hasn't responded. Go to the hospital. If you have fruity breath, and I don't mean just from eating fruit. It's a fruit smell coming from your breath. If you notice that, go to the doctor. Go to the hospital immediately. Um, nausea and vomiting that doesn't respond to treatment. Go to the doctor. Unconsciousness and, of course, seizures. Those are, are things when people who have diabetes, you need to go to your doctor immediately. I just like to let people know um, there are certain things that you can do yourself. There are certain things that you can call your nurse about. And then there's a time when you need to go to the hospital to seek emergency care. So uh, this is day one of diabetes. I'll be back on here giving you guys some more tips um, about diabetes. And we'll cover other topics, but I just wanted to start with this one. And I want to let everybody know, be safe out there. Keep your eyes open. Have a great day and be blessed, okay? Make today what you want it to be. Bye.